I am Hall of Fame coach Van Chancellor. This is my van. This is Coaches in a Van with Coach Van. How was your coffee after winning that championship? Yes, I tell you, so it was amazing to be able to uh, put all the hard work we put into that thing. I got amazing staff that works tirelessly and had great support from our administration the university. But to come uh, really bring this program back from dead and, you know, and, and almost forgotten about uh, to bring it back to the NCAA tournament for the first time in 21 years and the first conference title in 20 years, it's pretty special. Okay. How does it – what kind of pressure do you see that you're under as the head coach trying to defend your championship? Yeah, uh, every day I think our pressure comes internal more than external. Yeah. Uh, we got to have a good practice tomorrow morning at 6.15. we got to be in there and be, be popping and be at it. And we got to be good in the weight room tomorrow afternoon. And we just really uh, – it's coach speak a little bit, but we really just try to take – one bite of that big uh, pie at a time and, and, and work through it. How in the world do you get college players to want to practice at 6.15? When I was at Ole Miss, I couldn't get them up at 6.15, much less practice. How do you get that worked out? Well, we, we, we've done that really my whole career and uh, no distractions. We, we don't have any class conflicts. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, and we really try to get it in and, and get it done. And I think during the year, it actually is a positive. It gives us an extra, almost an extra day off during the year. Uh, because we'll be done at eight o'clock, you know, the day before the game, and we got a lot of time off our legs, and I think it really pays dividends for us over the course of the run. Okay, I know, I know you worked at Northwestern State. I'm a man who plays a lot of players, but you cut that down. What made you do that? Well, I think last year we, we changed a little bit our offensive philosophy, and you know, Coach Mike, uh, I was so blessed to sit under him for eleven years and and learn from him. You know, he's the winningest coach in in Louisiana history. And to be able to see that, but last year I just thought that we had a really good group and good chemistry uh, with, the, with the seven, sometimes eight that we had. Uh, that we just wrote, it gave him a little long run, a little bit more James Smith and a little less Mike McConaughey. <laughs> yeah, let me ask you this question. You're driving home, practice school, you're through weightlifting, it's in the afternoon. What music do you listen to? Well, I have a little bit of everything. I think that the, the variety that's in New Orleans is amazing. I got. I got country a little bit on 101. I got old school on 102.9 and 105.3 WWL. Got to listen to uh, Deke and, and Bobby in the afternoon and, and hear them on the hear what they're saying on the way home each night. So uh, a little bit of everything. What is it like living in New Orleans? I, I know. It, uh, what, what's that like? Well, it's it's. I think it's the most magical city in the in the in the country. Uh, just the culture, the food. It's a great family town that people don't give it credit for. I got. I got a five and a four year old that, that have a great life, a very rich life, that, that get to see and experience a lot of things. And we live in a really quiet neighborhood right across the street from the campus. So oh. it's a wonderful place. And uh, it's been hard on my waistline, but big on my happiness. <laughs> well, that's a great. Good luck to you. Hope you I hope you're able to defend that championship. Maybe I don't want to make all the coaches mad in this league, but good luck to you. Thank you a lot, coach. All right.